Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Hello, welcome to Rick's Corner. I figured we could have a little one-on-one -on -one talk today and see where we're at mentally about training and bodybuilding and looking good and looking big and looking small, looking skinny and looking fat. Have to cover all those areas as we go through all those changes as we move along through our career, if you want to call it a career or a hobby. You know, when do you get to a point in your age where you feel like you don't need to be huge anymore? When you're training and you're 15, 16, 17 years old, 20, 25, you want to get as big as you can. This is your goal. You're like, I got to get bigger, got to get bigger, got to gain weight. You're, you're weighing yourself all the time on the scale to see how much weight you gained and how big you got. This is what we all do. It's nothing new and we, we've all done it and we've all been there. And then if you lose a pound, you say, oh my God, I'm getting skinny, I lost a pound. And then someone says, you've been sick or you look, you look too good. Then they look in the mirror right away, why, do I don't look good, I lose my muscle? <laughs> so common. Well, when I was in my, oh, I gotta say, 30s and 40s, maybe even up to 50 or better, I was probably in the best shape of my life. I was in really good shape. And I weighed about uh, 219 to 222. And I figured that's pretty heavy for my height. I'm just under six feet. But it wasn't really heavy because I had no fat on me. And the funny thing was, at the time I was married, my wife tried to get me on at Kaiser and they said, according to my weight, I was obese. She says, he's not obese, he's a bodybuilder. He's got no fat on him at all. But they went by, the, by their uh, charts. They don't know, they don't know any better. You know, these doctors, they don't know shit anyway. So um, you think at that time when you're training, you got that size going, you got that strength going, it's gonna last forever. I did. I said, oh, I'll be this way the rest of my life. It's never going to change. I'm going to cha train forever, and this is how it's going to be. Well, it changes, and I don't lay off. I don't take layoffs. Um, I just train every day, and I train moderate, and I don't train with the 150-pound dumbbells like I used to. I don't feel that I need to, and we've been over that, too. But um, did I lose size? Yeah, I think I lost some size. I didn't lose any weight. I was still 220. Uh, my heaviest was two. I think my heaviest was 239. Um, I was really big at that weight. I got so big down at the beach in the 70s, I bought a 56 Volkswagen and I had a really hard time getting in and out of it. <laughs> it was a struggle. I mean, I was that thick and I thought, I don't like being this big. I started to get really big and I said, I got to cut back. I don't like it. I don't like the feeling of it in clothes and I don't like the feeling of it getting in and out of the car and it's just, I don't know, I just didn't care for it. <clears throat> so time moves on and um, I trained a little bit different, and then the past 10 years I trained a little bit different. Um, I did the same exercises, but I don't do the same weights, and then I switched to machines, and I thought to myself, do I need to be huge? No, not really. I have nothing to prove. I've been there and done that. I made my name, and I have photos and videos of what I was back in the day, and at my age now, and I think probably from around 65 on, or maybe before, I felt it healthier to stay leaner, to stay muscular and stay leaner. It doesn't have to be bulky. Um, what do I need it for? Somebody wrote in on my show and said, gee, Rick, you lost all your muscle. No, I didn't. I still have it. The, the point is, is that if you wear a certain shirt, you, wear, you look a certain way. If I wear a t-shirt and it's an XL, which is kind of tight on me, I look much bigger because it's tight on me. If I wear a double X like this, or even a triple X because I like them baggy, then I look smaller because it makes me look like I lost weight because it's a big shirt. I like the baggy shirts. I think they feel better. I'm not trying to show off. But you get to a point in your life where you think that I don't need to be huge anymore. It's just not necessary. I don't care and nobody else cares and it's not going to pay my bills and who cares what anybody else thinks as long as I look good. And I want to be lean and clothes and I want to look athletic not like bulky. You know, bodybuilding back in the day, it was aesthetic and the bodies were lean and good and we all looked great in great shape. And then it got to a point now where a lot of the guys look like elephants when they get dressed. They don't even look good dressed up. Nothing fits them properly and they're all tucked in and it's like, 
It's ridiculous. So when do you get to that point? Have any of you reached that point now where you don't think you need to be huge anymore? And the other thing is you have injuries. Many of you write to me and then your shoulders hurt and your back hurts and your knees hurt. Yeah, that goes with the territory. When you've been training hard and you've been training heavy, you're going to have injuries and then you don't feel like training after that. I go to the gym every day and both my shoulders, for some reason the past month, have been killing me. And bad enough that my leg hurts, now my shoulders hurt and my hands are numb from pinched nerves and I thought, oh my God, when does it ever end? But I go and I do the workout and um, I feel better for doing it. I'm not trying to set any goals, I'm not trying to get huge, but I at least want to stay in shape. So I go through the motions and I do the work and I focus on what I'm doing and mentally when I walk out I feel better for what I did. So I just wondered when, it, when you realize to yourself um, that you've gotten big enough and it's time to live with what you have when you come back down a little bit and be happy with it and don't keep trying to get bigger and bigger because you've already been there. If you've already been there, it doesn't really matter anymore. And no one, like I said, nobody really cares. They'll look at you and they'll say, gee, you lost weight. Or they'll look at you and say, gee, you gained weight. They don't know what they see. I've, I've had that happen to you so many times. Gee, Rick, you lost weight. And two minutes later, somebody else goes, gee, you put some size on, didn't you? They don't know. They don't know what they see. People just don't know. They're not observant. They just see a change. Um, I know that when I got down to 212, I looked bigger because I was more ripped. When I went up to 235, I looked big, but I wasn't as cut. So in clothes, yeah, without the clothes, I was going to kind of smooth. So uh, when do you get to the point where you're huge enough and you got to say, okay, it's time to cut back a bit and just stay in shape? Because it's, number one, it's not good on your heart. You have to eat way too much food. Uh, it could give you a sleeping disorder because it's hard to breathe when you're heavy and uh, raises your cholesterol. There's all kinds of things that can come from this if, that, if that's the case. And it gets expensive to eat like that. I mean, you got to eat all the time. My appetite now at my age is half of what it used to be. I sometimes get a meal and take half of it home. Never in a million years would I have ever thought that. I'd see older people eating, they'd split a meal and they'd go home. And I thought, well, I split a meal too sometimes. I just can't eat that much food. I don't have the appetite. Even when I'm training hard, I don't have the appetite. I just, nothing appeals to me. When you've been training hard and you, and you live on protein, you know, meat, eggs, and cottage cheese all the time, and tuna and all that. After about so many years, you get to the point where you say, I, don't, I can't even stomach eating that anymore. I want something different. So you get a cheeseburger, and then all of a sudden that doesn't taste good anymore. So today I had a tuna melt. I figured that would be pretty good to have some tuna. But um, even that didn't really do anything for me, and then cottage cheese. But I eat because I want results, and the results are to stay lean. All right, so if you guys look at me and you say, gee, Rick, you lost your muscle, and I really didn't. It's there. I just don't show it off like other people do. I don't think it's necessary to attract attention like that. So anyway, I hope you understand that. I hope you got something out of this because we all have to look in the mirror at ourselves and be happy with what we see. And uh, I hope that you're happy with what you see. If you ever need any advice, you can always make comments. I answer. I read all the comments, so I answer people when they have questions. Okay? Thanks for watching Rick's Corner, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code GRAYSON12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com, and order there. You can pay through PayPal, and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.